Good morning, everybody. About ready to take off and get these tanks dumped. So I'm gonna take off. I gotta go get mail. Still waiting on some. Uh, I ordered a fuse, an inline fuse for these uh, that clips onto the line. 20 amp fuse. Um, something I should have done in the first place is just being cheap. So I got that ordered. Got some other things to pick up. Need some a uh, couple items at the grocery store. I'm gonna move on to another rest area. Alright, so that works a lot better. You just start and then push this in almost at the same time. It just needs like one revolution on full choke. I, I kind of already knew that, but I, uh, just holding that on full just a little bit too long will kill the engine. So it's just a, just a split second, almost at the same time. Boop. Definitely going to be putting a manual choke in all my vehicles from now on. I like that. going to be in multiple trips until I figure out whether or not that uh, leak has been stopped. And with a uh, fuller tank. So good.
feel it's changing so much. I always like driving through here just to see what's going on. I already took you guys on a trip down the Golden Road, my old where I used to hang out, or I used to live. First time driving a car and first time and all that. First time teenager stuff. Yeah, this is all brand new. This is crazy. Gosh, look at that view though. Oh boy. It's crazy. You got a road that just kind of stops. Turning lane. <laughs> In the middle of nowhere. Or going nowhere. Yeah, Ridgefield's getting developed quick. I remember as a kid coming up here to this old AM PM. They still got the original sign, I think. That thing looks all faded. We used to get those cheap cheeseburgers and Yeah. Hometown. Or one of you know, I grew up in Vancouver. I came out here when I was like five. No, I went to high school. changed hardly at all that 
covered area over the uh, uh, playground is new. Gosh, that place is just... I love these old parts of town that just never change. There's a graveyard way up ahead too that we used to we used to go hang out at all those high schoolers. Yeah, that building's new over there, kinda. I think I kind of remember that going in as a kid. But freaking hardly. All these look at these how rotted these woods are. This wood is the uh, for the uh, parking lots. That has just not changed a bit. And then all us kids would line up, would be a big old pile of kids over here and wait for our parents to drive through. Uh, and pick us up, there'd be like a line of parents and their cars coming through right under that, or right in front of the covered area actually, I think, and all the kids would sit under there. But boy, look at this building, it has not changed a bit. Not at all, I love it. Um, my beliefs are not to give any false impressions, but I'm I'm more open-minded than, than anything nowadays. I went from being uh, you know raised somewhat religious to being atheist after my dad died, and and back to just kind of being open-minded about it. Oh, this is so freaking nuts! Trip down memory lane. check out the, the playground. My first social interactions. Well, no, not really. I guess preschool. But, oh, I'm so happy, you guys, just to see how all this unchanged. I hate seeing parts of the my town that's getting all developed. I think it's so ugly. I love the city, but when it changes from this Big old, just ugly new buildings. I freaking hate it. God, this is just so amazing. Not a bit has changed. I remember picking at these rocks when I was a little kid. Oh, there's some stuff missing out of the playground, but that thing right there at the very end, the red with the red roof on it, I played on that. I played in that thing, even though it was over here. I've played on these playground swings. Uh, that thing with the wheels on it is new. There's no teeter totters here anymore. I used to. That was the lunchroom in there. Uh, my classrooms are up here. Second grade was Miss was it Fredrickson, then Miss Ginter, Miss Overdorf. Fourth grade was actually on the other side. I'm just gonna I'm gonna take a quick walk around real quick. These fans are still doing awesome. I just wanna kinda peek. Peek in the front door and see if uh, everything's still unchanged in there there's that mountain view boy I never appreciated that enough as a kid it's got some little sales stand over there that's cool got that beautiful old barn I love these guys so much for not changing I like that they have rotting wood it's like I'll bet you that's the same wood Yeah, I never came over into these parts so much, but uh, we'd have class. And then this is the church area, although school, they had some classrooms over there too. There's like, let's see, I was only here till fourth grade. I think they went up to like, I'm not sure how, how high the classes went, but I was here till fourth grade and never, 
wasn't here long enough to get to the other part of the school the built-in school part but this is a church with a school built onto it or something or it's a school and then they put a church in i don't know i think it's mainly a church that became a school or maybe it's just a school church kids and hang out right here wait for our parents to come through I remember this all being so much bigger <laughs> nope. you guys can see in there yeah no that has not changed but that it has not changed much and it is very nostalgic looking in there that is so cool there's like the stairs that go up I've been up there a couple times Oh, I sung in choir, I played the recorder. All sorts of stuff in here. Hey, that's drinking fountain! Look at that drinking fountain, you guys. I have drinking from that fountain. Old porcelain and unchanged. I'm so happy to see that. I remember running through these halls. Oh yeah, we'd have like little shindigs over there in that far back room with the open door. I remember having like a chili a chili dog cookout or something whatever you call that and here was the pe room this is like a big old open area or used to be probably still is oh my god and we used to come here for halloween things oh, i hope you can see in there you guys this is so freaking neat oh my god they got the same freaking carpet I love it. I absolutely love it. That old brown, brownish orange with the black stripes. Yeah, that's like the PE room. Yeah. These are the same boards. Mountain View Christian Center. What's that term I'm looking for? Made a full tur full full circle. I've come, I've come full circle. I don't think I'm even using that term right. But gosh, I picked. I'm surprised these rocks are even still in this building. All these kids picking at this stuff. Yeah, this is really cool. I'd like to maybe come back one day while they're open and take a look around. Yeah, this area is kind of strange to me, even as a kid, because we'd barely come down here and there's always a... Uh, just kind of like an unknown territory. I, I was always in the PE room and in the classes upstairs. Yeah, it was, uh... So your first grade was public school. I was a tater tot down at Union Ridge in Ridgefield. Then second, third, and fourth grade, I was here. Fifth grade, I was back at Ridgefield Public School, um, Mr. Ward's class for a year. And then sixth grade, I was back at private, um, private Christian school uh, at Kingsway in Vancouver, Washington off of uh, 78th. Yeah, Kingsway for 6th, and then 7th, uh, 8th, back at, uh, I, was, I was a rebel, back at the public school in Ridgefield. Then 9th and 10th, I was a tater, uh, I was a sputter. And then 10th, you know, I, I kind of didn't really have, school was kind of a joke to me at that point, so I, I just ended up dropping out and did my own thing. One more drive out here. I, I'm just... Oh, the cross is gone. I'll bet you that fell over. That looks all rotted up there. But yeah, there used to be a cross up there. Mountain View Christian Center. Yeah, also didn't used to have a sign. Had the flag. I just I cannot believe how unchanged this is. This is so awesome. And what a view. 
actually a really cool house down here, I remember. It, was like a, it looked like a ball or a heck of, or some kind of weird shape. But, uh, let's explore that later. I've got projects to do. I need to catch up on sleep. It's our 50th is down a little ways. I spent a lot of time there, too, at friends' houses. I was actually kind of thinking I'd go that way, but, uh, I mean, yeah, I'm tired. We'll, we'll say that for another day. At least I'm hoping that all these landowners here are just being stubborn about selling. I really hope. Oh, they sell flowers. I'm okay. Ridgefield, up by the freeways to be so beautiful. Over here, glorious. Untouched Ridgefield, the town. Then we, once we get up to this area, it's all gets developed. That Dollar Tree, I remember watching that get built. They poured the walls on the ground as concrete and then let it dry and lifted it up. Uh, that's the old fire station. Some winery floofy thing now. Here's some more development. It looks like sh This brings me such warm, such fond memories of growing up, like learning to drive my car, drive El Camino up and down here. I love that car. Um, hanging out with friends, just, I don't know, this road, the edge of the road, the, the weeds, I swear even the weeds look like they are the original weeds. So that doesn't really make sense, but it just looks so... fire station which actually looks awesome that looks very good the original fire station was pretty small no I guess the town was a lot smaller
the Country Cafe. That used to be Country Junction. This was actually the entrance to the freeway. It's really weird. Not turning right here. Thing is, front loader. 